All right, here we are for our next project on our 2005 Bass Cat Puma. Just doing, uh, going through some different upgrades on it. Now, one of the things that I want to do, this boat came stock with the third seat, which is a fold down seat, becomes a step, and obviously becomes a seat. Now, we don't have the storage underneath the seats, so this does flip away, but this is just the box underneath here is a fuel tank. What I want to do, because I don't really have a need for this third seat, is I would like to swap it out with the carpeted step box that Bass Cat has as an option. Now you can buy this direct on their website. They sell it, generally make it and sell it in two different sizes, and obviously you get your carpet to match. If you go to the website, you can see them. Uh, they also do custom boxes if you wanted one custom built specifically for your boat, if it wasn't a Bass Cat you know your dimensions, they also build them there. Now, I've ordered this one. I've got two cup holders here, and then I've got a nice little storage area inside here to keep some things that I may need to get at on a daily basis. Comes with the rivets, and it also comes already with the hinges that are screwed into it. So, for this project, looking like, all we're gonna need to do is remove these two sections of seat here, so. This one here, we've got six screws total that are holding this lower seat on with these hinges. And if everything lined up, which of course just this one it doesn't, uh, I could just take these screws out and just screw right into that box. But we're gonna have to remove these uh, and drill some new holes and use those rivets to put that on. Next is gonna be removing this seat back piece. So for this, we've got four rivets that hold this uh, crazy looking contraption here to make it swing and swivel and do everything that it needs to do. So we're going to get those removed and then we're going to fill those holes. They'll actually be covered up by the box, but we're going to fill those holes with a uh, 3M product that will seal that up so no water can get in there and then uh, get on any of the fiberglass. So looks fairly easy. Let's get to work. All right, like we stated earlier, so this is the bottom portion of the seat. It's got hinges, and you see we just have some screws holding it in. The easiest thing to do is going to be go ahead and remove these, and let's get rid of this seat portion so it makes it easier to work with. All right, now we're going to do the same for this portion of the seat. Not every project goes as smooth as you want it to. Now, here's the deal. The distance between these two seats, which is one of the measurements you want to take when you order the box, because I told you there's two different sizes. The large box will fit the 17 inch distance between the two seats, which is what I have. And this one happens to be the 15 inch, so it is a little bit smaller. Now you're not really even gonna notice it when it's in there, right? Barely see, there's just about an inch on each side, okay? But it's gonna fit fine, it's great for this project, and at a bargain price, you can't beat it. So, what we're gonna do is two options. This already came with the hinges on it, and it comes with the rivets. So what we could do is drill these rivets out, then drill new holes, seal up the old ones, and mount this in our new hole positions. Or, looking at these hinges, they're absolutely fine, the rivets are all still holding really well. We're gonna remove these hinges from here, and then we're going to attach these hinges using these screws back onto this piece, which should work out just fine, in theory. Let's see how that works for us.
at that. Works, no problem. Really won't have a need to, to lift this for anything. There's no reason to get underneath it. But fits a little bit of a gap on each side. Everything looks good. It'll work. All right, next thing we need to do, which you don't even really have to if you didn't want to, but we're gonna do it, is remove the plate back here from the seat back. So in order to do that, since the rivets, we just need to drill those rivets out. So we're gonna get a drill bit. It's a little bit bigger than the hole inside the center of the rivet. Just kind of drill, punch it out, pull everything apart, and then we'll go ahead and seal those up. This is the back plate that I was telling you about. So here you can see, the only thing that's left is those four rivets. So all we need to do is drill those out. We can pull this whole plate off and then just seal those holes up. clean this up a little bit and just seal those off and done deal. All right, so there we've wrapped up the changeover from the center seat with the back that becomes the step. We've removed that and put the carpeted step box in and we did a little modification on the install with the hinges. Uh, removed the back plate right here for it, remove those, and then uh, I haven't filled it in yet, but I'll put on the video, I use a, uh, a 3M Marine uh, adhesive sealant on here. There's a couple different ones you can buy. I like the Fast Cure, the, the green tube. But you put that on here, obviously I'll put it in white. Uh, put that on there and it seals right away and it'll seal that fiberglass up so no water will get inside that fiberglass and you barely be able to tell that they're, they're there. So a little bit of elbow grease and some cleaner and all this stuff would be clean looking good as new now if any of you guys out there uh, that have got this center seat and these colors will work on your boat and you need the center seat step or want to replace yours because these are in pretty good shape I don't see any rips or tears on them just uh, shoot me a message down below we'll work something out and uh, I can get it shipped to you got all the screws got some rivets uh, and got all the parts and pieces so hope you guys enjoyed it this was a pretty easy project a uh, little bit of modification and again you can get these right from the Basscat website and you can get them custom built if you don't have a Basscat and you want to add this uh, to your boat it's a pretty easy project hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe because we still have a bunch of projects that we're going to do on this boat